Now that's what I call a mailbox find. Three giant parcels. Australia Post. Australia Post. Oh, over 50 pounds and more. Australia Post. Wow. I really can't believe my fortune to have such great fans and viewers of my channel. Uh, looks like four friends in Australia have come together to send me three massive mystery boxes. I've got my scale out here, so we're going to actually weigh how much die cast has arrived in the mail. And we are looking at $445 of combined postage to send these three parcels from Australia to me. Totally random acts of kindness from longtime viewers Peter Brewer, Stephen Papa, and now it looks like I've got a parcel from Ronald S. And this one, a collaboration from uh, four, all four men, Peter Brewer, Stephen Papa, looks like Ronald or Renan and Shaq. I hope I'm getting that right. Um, all from Sydney, Australia. So this is amazing. This has come thousands of kilometers to me here in Ontario, Canada. There's just, there's no space to open this much stuff in the Diecast Museum right now. If you've seen my videos, you know how cramped it's getting down there. So we're going to open it up right here uh, and explore them on the table. This is probably going to be a two, maybe even a three part video series. Mystery box reveal. But first, we got to weigh each parcel and see what does $445 in postage get you? This one in particular, $80. And we're going to get that scale going. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, 173 pounds is what I'm showing. And my weight is 166. So we've got seven pounds of die cast in this one. Feels like it might be a giant playset. Who the heck knows though? This one's the heaviest one. I'm gonna leave that one for last. This one is very heavy. Oh, and now we're showing. Oh, come on scale, don't do that. Like, I think I broke the scale, it's so heavy. All right, there we go. 187 pounds, minus my weight. We're looking at 21 pounds of die cast in this one that cost 141 Australian dollars. As far as I know, an Australian dollar is about the same as a Canadian dollar. Oh, this one does, even has a warning on it. Over 50 pounds, two man lift. And uh, let's get on the scale now and see what this one weighs. Oh, wow. This is the first time I've ever broken 201 pounds. Minus 166. We're looking at 35 pounds. Holy, that even shakes the floor. So I've decided I'm going to open the biggest box first. This one's from Stephen Pop and Peter Brewer. This huge box is, I can't even imagine what's in here. I expect like this must be like their whole collection they must be sending me. This is, I think, the third massive parcel these lads have sent me from Australia over the last year or two. And uh, they're always so exciting and thrilling to watch. So let's get into it. I've got my recycling bin here ready in case there's a whole bunch of packing material. But basically, everything is going to come out of here. I'm going to bring the camera around over my shoulder. We're going to look at everything as we open it up. But first, I'll bring you along for the opening of this massive box. Full mystery box. Opening up here, I like to do these on the camera. I'm just gonna cut the top right off this thing, I think, because I have no idea how it is packed. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Yes, sir. Ho oh, oh. ho. Like Christmas in November. Oh my goodness. Like jaw-dropping amount of awesome die cast in here. This is crazy, guys. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Holy smokes, let's get into it. This is gonna be a one-box mystery video for now. The other two parcels will be in part two, but there is just too much cool stuff to look at in here. Holy, like what the heck? Oh, amazing. It was so exciting, in fact, that Nina has come to see what is going on here. She just loves doing the mystery box reviews with me here, but looks like she's gotten a little bit more interested in the recycling bin. Nina, what about all the cool cars and trucks? Okay, well, 
I'm sure she's going to be back, but let's get into these. As you can see from this angle, we've got a ton of Johnny Lightning in here. Old Majorette transport trucks by the looks of it. And a bunch of loose, awesome old stuff. All right, so we've got the camera pointed at the box. I think you're going to be able to see everything just fine. And uh, lots of vintage Johnny Lightnings to look at first, looks like on top. And uh, I'm not going to open anything in this initial unboxing as there's just too much stuff. So we've, you know, we've got to get through it and uh, perhaps open it at the end of the video or maybe even a part two of the first one. I don't know if you want, what you want to call that, but we might have to do that. These are copyright, um, well, it's the Playing Mantis, so this is the good old stuff. Copyright 1998. So I'm going to suggest that probably all of these Johnny Lightning racing machines and funny legends, probably from 1998, but some really cool funny cars in there. Uh, amazing paint jobs. And we're just going to have to go through these a little quicker probably than what I'm used to. Otherwise, we're not going to get through this box all in one video. And another really cool funny car. So, I mean, I probably am going to do a, a table review down in the Diecast Museum with everything. Some things I'm going to be opening up, like anything with damaged cards. I typically do open a lot of my uh, old Johnny Lightnings, and most of my collection is loose in general. So, it looks like a Cadillac Atlante there. Isn't that cool? Official pace car. That's awesome. 92 Atlante. And, uh, of course, there's a blurb on the back of each one. So, I just love Johnny Lightning stuff. Look how much there is, though. Wow. This is, like, I was buying this stuff up, you know, as much as I could back in the day. I mean, this is going on 23, 24 years old, these funny car legends. And huge, huge collections to look out for. Transport trucks. We're going to kind of jump around a bit, too, just so that everyone that's interested uh, in the various things can kind of get a smattering of things. It's a Majorette 187th scale, uh, the Nighthawk transport truck. And what kind of truck is this? Just take it off the camera, have a quick look. It's a Kenworth. It has an opening hood. Very cool. It's in pretty nice shape. Got a little bent exhaust, broken bumper corner. But otherwise, great condition. Got the opening back trailer doors as well, so you can actually load it up with some cargo. Funny enough, this was my first Majorette transport truck growing up as a lad, which I still have. It's in comparable condition. Uh, a little, well, it doesn't have any broken parts, but it's it's in the same nice condition as far as the paint goes. Very cool, and these actually hold their value quite nicely. If you're a collector of these, you're going to note that these are fairly hard to come by. Uh, you know, they're not cheap anyways. They're not free, that's for sure. Not normally free. I lucked out, though. Uh, a whole bunch of trailers. We're likely to find the cabs for these as we go. This look to be uh, Yatming. Yes, indeed, this is a Yatming trailer. Uh, they also feature the opening doors on the back. And here we've got a Matchbox trailer. Matchbox dump trailer of some kind. Very cool. Vintage, older, 1986, it says on the bottom. And a Majorette Nassau trailer. So, very cool. I imagine for sure that we're going to find the cabs in here. And if not, I know I have spare cabs. It's the trailers that are so hard to find at, if you're looking for these things loose or played with, such as these are. Just a horde of trailers. Another Matchbox trailer. This is really cool. And a Majorette Texaco fuel trailer. Also 187th scale. Pretty much everything here, 1 100th or 187th. Opening doors have been taped shut on this particular trailer. So, we'll just get all those trailers parked in one spot. I've got some old Hot Wheels in here. Whoa, here's a bigger trailer. Runnings Warehouse. This one's quite detailed. All it says is made in China on the base, so I don't know anything about that. Looks to be more like a 164, maybe 172 scale, though. It's a little bit larger. We'll hold up this uh, relatively 164 scale old vintage Hot Wheels Bronco as comparison. Uh, it is missing the back cap, but that's not a big deal. These are awesome. I've got a literal horde of these trucks, so I just love getting more. And uh, for whatever reason, I just love collecting old chipped Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Majorette, whatever. Like, it's all awesome. More trailers as we go before we jump back into some Johnny Lightnings to clear a path here. 
Looks to be uh, another Yatming trailer. Pizza Hut and McDonald's on the same trailer. Copyright 1984 for Pizza Hut. Interesting that McDonald's is on there and STP. Those look to be maybe stickers. That's true. These are stickers. Pardon my confusion. It's just supposed to have Pizza Hut on it. Pretty cool. And I've got an old Majorette 1 100 scale aggregate dump trailer, I would suppose. And another Matchbox. Oh no, this is Racing Champions. So that uh, looks like a logging trailer. And uh, certainly there's going to be some cabs in here. This is a really old Yatming truck. Very cool. In nice condition too. Uh, it actually doesn't say Yatming on it, but I can tell it's Yatming from those wheels. And that's a nice, nice model. Oh, and it's got the matching trailer too. Beautiful. That is a nice specimen for the uh, Yatming collection. I make sure I keep this in the camera. A little hard to see from my angle, but we're going to manage here. Looks like an old Hot Wheel bus. Ah, oh, these things are so cool. The old school bus. There's some variations that exist too, and this one is in great condition. I'll have to check that out as we get down to the Hot Wheels. All right, there's one of those cabs. We found a cab. Looks like another kind of uh, no-name racing champions or yapming cab. Uh, road road champs, road champs. Kind of the same thing. I think those uh, all a lot of those truck or diecast companies were owned by the same kind of general uh, overseers or whatever. Classic gold collection, '59 Cadillac. What a beautiful car! Check it out. Huge fins. Vintage Johnny Lightning again. And from the surf rods. What is this? Oh, man. Looks like an old... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Doesn't say on it. Tom Daniel design. Very cool. What kind of car is that? I don't quite recognize it. I mean, I do, but the name is not coming to me. Some recognizable tail lights. Very cool. Custom surf rod. Coast Busters, it says. I'll have to check that one out later when I can check it out. And the Bad Bird. Oh, yeah. Nice old T-Bird here. Thunderbird, I guess. With the collector button. Very cool. Well, here's another super custom car. The Frankenstude. It's a Studebaker. Let's see if we can get a camera on that one. Check out the artwork from the Hot Rods Garage. Authentic replicas of real street machines and I'm not gonna look for the copyright on everything because that's just gonna take way too long in this video the rumbler I think that's meant to be a rambler wagon I love these tongue-in-cheek names that they've got for these cars another authentic hot rod car and it's funny I don't have any of these in my collection they're just a little older than when I was collecting Johnny Lightning so this is super cool to add these to my collection and it's gonna be difficult for me to open them up I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I mean, I love opening up cars, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll probably do a completely separate video on all of these. Uh, there's another Bad Bird variation. And we've got a giant shoebox of cars in here as well. Oh man, monster trucks even. Look at this old thing. Whatever. Big old Chevy Blazer by the looks of it. The Mad Dog 2. Wow, that is cool. Matchbox. I actually have no Matchbox monster trucks until now. And certainly not vintage ones like this. These are crazy cool. Very, very cool. Uh, Willie's Gasser. Another Johnny Lightning custom pickup truck. Very cool. There's just so much Johnny Lightning in here gonna get this big box out that we're starting to reveal here because then it's gonna open up a whole new layer there's bags and bags of stuff too the endless summer looks like a Ford uh, I don't know looks like an old Ford maybe it's an old Chevy I don't know you guys tell me custom hot rods surf rods the endless 60s oh my goodness it just keeps going look at this one 69 Pro Street Camaro Check out that hood scoop. Ah, so cool to see the old vintage neon light writing and that sort of thing. So where are we at in copyrights on these? Uh, 97 on that one, so we're getting older as we go. 
Another one of these in a different color. Very cool. Oh yeah, 66 Pro Street Chevelle SS. Very cool. There's the packaging. Let's go in for a closer look. So cool. I'm gonna have to have like all if I open these up, they're all gonna have their own Plano case in the Diecast Museum. They're gonna look great together. The Beast Mobile. Looks like a Chevy Monte Carlo, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, almost looks like a white lightning with those tires on it. I don't even know if they had white lightnings back then. I'm pretty sure they did. I don't know for sure though. I don't know. I'm literally getting a stack of die cast off to my table here to the side of me. It's getting very tall. It's starting to teeter actually. 69 Pro Street Camaro in black. With some very cool graphics on it. Super cool. And oh, there's still more. The the booming ghost. I have no idea what that is. What does a booming ghost mean? Am I even saying that right? This is such a cool model, though. I've never seen these models. Never ever seen them. Well, before we lose it, I found another tractor trailer. This one's an old Majorette 1 100 scale and made in France. Doesn't say what it is, but I can see that I've got the. Oh no, I've got a Matchbox trailer and a Majorette truck here. Kind of look like they go together though. West Lines. All right, well, maybe if we find the cab of that trailer, but we're just getting through it. What is this truck? What is this old thing? Made in Hong Kong, the T219-224 truck. Uh, might not be authentic, might just be a generic kind of old uh, toy, but that is pretty cool. Very unique. All right, well, we might as well get through these last Johnny Lightnings that are visible anyways. And I would say we're only about ooh, a quarter of the way through this box. So we've got the Going Goat. It's a Pontiac GTO. Very cool car. Check out the graphics of the real one. Looks purple in real life. We've got an orange one. Another bad bird, this time in aqua blue. Almost reminds me of the Hot Wheels Spectre Flame series cars, how they have so many different colors. And here we have another uh, Going Goat, another big old GTO. This one's now solid green. And yet another Bad Bird. That's four Bad Birds now. Very interesting. Literally just a stack of these cars here next to me. I knew she would come back. She really just can't resist looking at all these cool die cast vehicles with me. What are you doing, Neener? Okay, well, let's get back into it. And I thought for a second there, what is this thing? I thought it was like a styrofoam crumb or something. It's a tiny, tiny little lamb. A little lamb all the way from Australia. Where does that go? Someone, you got to tell me. Where does that go? I have no idea. <laughs> Will I ever figure it out? Probably not. Okay, let's keep going through the box here. Got another tractor trailer, and this one is all together. Check it out. That is awesome. Looks like a big old international, perhaps. Ramp looks like it would carry a something, uh, maybe a tractor or something. Doesn't actually say what kind of truck it is on the base, but to me it looks like an international. I could be wrong. I've just turned on the overhead light because it was getting a little dim in there, but there's just so much stuff. Also, I've got a couple of these uh, Hot Wheel racks standing by so we can kind of just get through them a little quicker. Uh, super old Lesney trailer with the rack on it. Let's put that off to the side for now. This is super vintage, very cool. I'm going to just put these in here as we go. And a little old majorette truck, some kind. Matchbox truck. Old matchbox uh, plow. Old matchbox tow truck. I hope these are in focus. I really can't tell. I really hope they are. Let's look at something a little bigger. This looks like some sort of old road roller made in Macau. Just calls a roller scale 164. So this is a huge roller. Looks like it may have a cab, perhaps that's in here somewhere. Quite a heavy piece. I don't know who makes that. 
And looks like that may have gone with this. Varta batteries. Is that right? Looks like a good fit. That's an old matchbox. I'm just, I'm not really sorting them here. I'm just trying to get them all fit into this uh, rack, as it were. Got an old recycling truck. That's a matchbox recycling truck. And it actually has the opening, the opening uh, recycling bit. And this is how great toys were back in the day. You push on this lever and it actually pushes the garbage out. So you could wad a bunch of little tinfoil garbage bags if you want, stuff them in there. Real life action with that little garbage truck. It's like an old matchbox or majorette. Yeah, matchbox tractor. Old majorette truck cab. It's about 1 100 scale. Oh, it looks like we've got a. That's probably off the tow truck that we already looked at. A little matchbox tow truck. So just stick that in there before we lose it. Looks like that's good. Matchbox flatbed trailer. These would have been for carrying something rather large. Whoa, that's a cool circus vehicle. Is that where the lamb goes? We have a giant lamb in this 1 100 scale matchbox circus truck. This is the uh, horse box, it's called. That's a truck I don't have in my collection. It's in great condition, too. Absolutely going to go to the display wall. Majorette hay trailer. That's pretty cool. I think those are about 164 scale. Very cool old Majorette uh, rescue push truck. These are Unimogs, I'm pretty sure. No, it's a matchbox. Wow, I don't think I have one of those either. Very vintage stuff here by the looks of it. It's a pretty common old matchbox car for most collectors. The Ford Model A. Would have been a popular, popular piece. So I've already filled up one rack. I'm just gonna put that over here. Oh, there goes that tow arm again. Don't lose it. And I've got another rack ready to go for the first truck. It looks like a pink Scammel, maybe. Uh, what kind of trucks are these? Uh, Scania. I knew it started with an S. Interesting foreign trucks from a Canadian point of view, anyways. Some sort of Bigfoot, the Wolfman rollback from Universal Studios. Don't recognize that. And we've got, what is this? Looks like a little matchbox. Uh, nope, no, it's just a no-name Sikorsky helicopter. In good shape. It's got all the rotor blades. Ooh, a nice old Hot Wheels Peterbilt cement mixer. In perfect condition almost. By the looks of a few flea bites on the horns and the exhaust stacks, but... That's one of the older ones too, because it doesn't have the Hot Wheel logo on the base. It just says Peter Built. And it is a stamped over Malaysia, so a little bit not as old as like if it was a Hong Kong, but that's an older cement mixer release. Many variations of that one. Very cool. The uh, Rider van, I think it's a Ford Transit. Yes, it is. Ford Transit van. These ones have suspension. Nice piece for the collection. And a super vintage, super good condition camper trailer. This is Lesney, has the opening door. This thing is in mint condition. I don't think I have one of these in as nice a condition as this. Thank you so much, guys, once again. I just have to say it. I've got a few other interesting things. It's just a made in China, but it's a very nicely detailed uh, crane recovery or construction truck of some kind. Probably a Yatming derivative. Got the tractor. Looks like a matchbox. Uh, majorette. I keep getting these two mixed up. Majorette tractor with matching hay wagon. Very cool. The hay wagon's in better condition than the tractor, but they do match. So we'll put those in side by side. Oh, there's a nice big truck. What do we got here? For a DAF 3300 space cab. So this is an older DAF. Where's my focus? There it is. Very cool. I did order a new phone to get better camera work out of the uh, videos, but unfortunately due to global shortages, they said it'll be 12 weeks before I get it. So we'll have to wait a little longer, but hope, hoping to get better focus on the new camera. If we're struggling here, I apologize. Very cool forklift. Forklift truck, that's a matchbox. What the heck? A little tiny, tiny, skinny Goodyear. Probably a micro machine of some kind. I don't really know. And uh, that'll belong to something, a DHL, probably another old Matchbox or Yatming. Got some sort of ramp here, so I'm just going to put those in here. Looks like a few boxes may have come loose in shipping. I mean, this carton of toys did come across 
the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, that would be several thousand kilometers of travels. And as you can see, everything's pretty loose in here. They've really maximized the amount of stuff to send by uh, just filling this box right up. It's so cool. We've got an old Majorette trailer here, very good condition, and looks like an old uh, Road Champs trailer. So very interesting, super old. Hard to find this kind of stuff these days. I mean, sometimes you get lucky at a flea market or whatever, but no, we don't want to crush that uh, little... That's the Majorette Circus, Magic Circus part. So we're gonna find the trucks for these. We're gonna put them all together. That is going to be a separate video. I've decided now at this point, there's just so much stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Coke delivery trucks, it says. So I'm gonna put this box aside just for now before we get into it so we can see what is down here. Just an epic amount of die cast here, guys. This is like what most people have in their entire collection probably more so I don't know it's just a huge amount uh, very cool and we've got an old matchbox trailer here the IPEC trailer the doors are indeed taped shut for now some plastic so there must be some goodies in here very interesting kind of like a custom monster truck just no name off-brand toy get that out of the way oh look at these here's something different this would be like the ultimate goodie bag if you went to Value Village and got this for like $4. Wouldn't that be something? Huge, huge vans. The Super Kings, 1989 ambulance van Super Kings with stretcher. With the stretcher in the back and a patient on that stretcher. Well, you know what? We're going to look at everything, like I said, in, in detail. I'm, I'm definitely going to run out of table space here too. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Wow, look at this. It's got steering wheels. Use the uh, the air tanks. Are those air tanks? What do we got there? To steer the front wheels. Isn't that clever? It's a Matchbox Super Kings Peterbilt. With some play stories. It does still have the original hook. Which I imagine would be very difficult. And it has the exhaust stacks. Highway Patrol. This thing is heavy. It probably weighs a pound in itself. Very, very cool. More ambulances coming out. This is a really old Bedford. Bedford Ambulance. Matchbox Super Kings. 1986. Wow. That is really cool. Mmm, it's even got that vintage aroma coming off it. We're really starting to get dig into this pile. Oh, an old Road Champs camper. I have one of these too from my youth. It's in mint condition still. It doesn't come with all these cool graphics, so this one is definitely different. Let's take a closer look at these graphics on the Road Champs camper. As you can see, uh, Road Champs on the base. Hard to tell if I'm in focus once again, sorry. What else have we got? Another bag, let's go into this mystery. Oh my, look at this. This thing's loaded. I mean, this would be a video in itself normally. This is going to be a long one. I hope you guys grabbed a coffee or something and come along, but I'm just high on excitement here. So, I've got a few parts falling off this. It looks like it's a uh, HO scale railway trailer. I'm just going to put that one down for it disintegrates in my hand. It's so old. Getting quite a pile here. And something, something has been somewhat protected in this case. Let's just have a look. What are we dealing with here? This thing is really cool. This would be like a highly detailed model. Uh, it's made by Rio, R-I-O. It has a scale on it of 143rd and made in Italy. No idea what this is. It's got some severe junkyard uh, picking going on on the front end. But otherwise, it's in really nice condition. It's got a plastic roof. Very heavy, all metal otherwise, and highly detailed. So that's an interesting little junkyard find for the 143rd scale selection of vehicles. Which is pretty rare in my collection, I'll be honest. We've got like a whole load of tractor-trailer cabs in here of all scales and sizes. So this one is all metal. 
Kenworth, Aerodyne, Cab Over Engine, West Caldwell, Road Champs. I mean, this thing has got to be ancient. I don't know if this trailer piece goes with it. We'll have to find out as we go. Maybe it's this piece. Yeah, this will be the matching trailer for it here. Road Champs with the Happy Motoring Exxon Fuel Trailer. Looks to be about 1 one hundred scale, maybe even smaller. Such a cool piece. Look at all these tractor trailers. This is crazy. Majorette, the big old, uh, sa I don't know what it is, Savium? Is that what it says? Anyways, it's got a tilt cab engine. Got a few of these in the collection now, mostly thanks to Peter and Steven. Yeah, coming down to critical shortages on space here next to me. It's like a Road Champs or Real Toy. This is a Real Toy uh, Ford Explorer. Pretty cool. Quite heavy, actually. A lot of different brands. Oh, this is another HO scale piece, I think. And same with this one. I think these are all... don't recognize them. They're very light to plastic, so... I'm going to put those kind of in the same grouping as far as I know. There's a plastic cab, so that definitely looks to me like a kind of generic HO scale. Lima, Italy, it says. I don't know what this trailer is. Some tiny little road champ. It's another little road champ piece. So we got lots of road champ stuff. Here's a really beat up version of that truck we were just looking at. The one with the uh, Exxon fuel trailer. Ooh, and an old, uh, an old HO scale. Horse trailer, perhaps, I think. All plastic. Majorette Air France bus. To add to my bus collection. These are 187th scale. Ooh, look at this. The Lotus. The Lotus Europa. Am I right? Uh, Elite. Sorry. This is a Corgi. Made in Great Britain. Scale is 136 on this, opening doors. Funny enough, uh, growing up, I remember as a child, my dad still has this exact same car in bright orange, a Corgi, 136 scale. Uh, I barely ever played with it. He's, he actually had a real life Lotus uh, Europa, a 66. So he had a little tiny Lotus collection of die casts, not very big, but that was one of them. He still got it on his tool bench in the basement at his place, at my parents' place. And now I've got another HO scale truck. Pretty cool, this one is a Viking. All plastic once again, very detailed though. There's another one, another HO scale truck for pulling a trailer. I mean, look, they come with a, a real spare tire and everything. Cool little Majorette fire trailer, that's uh, that's for towing behind, I think, the Land Rover or something like that. Ooh, this is a neat a Corvette. This is a uh, Zed. Who makes these again? Ah, I can't. The name is on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it has that logo. Zy Zymex or something like that. I don't know. It's in mint condition, though. I'm going to put that one over in the racks. Got another old Road Tramp truck. Road Tramp. Road Champ. Let's keep it clean. Got some pieces kind of coming loose in here. Really old Mercedes Benz from the HO scale. Another old Road Champ. Just a pile of these things. Absolute pile. Whoa, what is this? Looks like a Fiat. Uh, no, it's a Renault. Opening hatch. Opening doors. Very cool. Oh, we just lost something. What fell off? He's the trail hitch. Oh, it even has the even has a cargo hatch opens up in the back. Wow. Oh, oh, and look at tilt forward seats. What? The details they used to put in toys yesteryear. And this one's made by Corgi. Corgi Renault 11 GTL. Very cool. That looks to be about 136 or 143rd scale, I would say. Put that in the 143rd scale pile. And the leftover pieces in this bag appear to be mostly a handful of parts. 
some of which may have come off that big old classic car which I wasn't able to identify from Italy and let's just have a look got a handful of parts yeah there's the hood there's a wheel so some parts that we can put on that car again that's gonna be the part two to this first box so what started out as a uh, two-part series by my first announcements actually gonna turn into a uh, maybe a six-part series depending on how much stuff is in the other boxes Just gonna find somewhere to put everything here because we are going to need to go through this with a closer eye once I get it all out on the table uh, dragsters USA or back some Johnny Lightning super cool they come with like a coin probably worth about the same as a crypto coin just kidding probably maybe well to me they are anyways I don't buy crypto coins but anyways these are newer Johnny Lightnings uh, I would say this is about 2006 uh, uh, RC2 brands I don't know can't find the copyright but that's a really nice Chevy Nova this is when I really started to collect Johnny Lightning myself and I don't have these cars either. It's a 65 Shelby Cobra Daytona. Very cool. Very cool. I do have this one. I know I do. That's a beauty. The old 69 Mercury Cougar. I do have that one. That's a beautiful car though. These are all metal on metal rubber tires. And look at the white walls. They There's no problems with the white walls. Even 15, 16 years ago. So... Unlikely as it is, but if any green light reps are watching this, why why can't you get your white walls lined up when this has been done for decades ago in the past by other manufacturers? Uh, Dragster USA, another Dragster. What have we got here? It looks to be a Lincoln. Oh, it's an Oldsmobile. The Rug Doctor. Can you see that? That is pretty darn cool, and it's almost open, so I'm definitely going to open that one up. The piles continue. Got some big truck pieces here. What is this thing? Huge, huge tractor trailer or hay wagon of some kind. Some sort of cargo piece. Uh, there's nothing on the base, so I can't identify that, but it's very heavy and large. Larger scale. Look at these things. Oh, look at there's another. There's another one of those things. So there's probably a second one in here, you know. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go. Whoa, talk about an absurd amount of packaging, Johnny Lightning. The rock and rollers, they're selling you almost as much plastic as they are die cast back in the day with these ones. I've never seen these before, but they come with a fake uh, collectible record. I can't tell if it's carp. It's a CD. Whoa, well, that explains all the packaging. In the 60s, a new style of musical rock and roll. So it comes with a rock and roll disc and a die cast car. Isn't that something? Playing Mantis Days. What? Is the copyright on these 2000 21 year old CD? We're gonna have to throw that in the CD player. We've got Surf and City, Jan and Dean. Wow, very, very different. So cool to see. And there's yet another one in here. Looks like it's got that T Bird now in like a pink pastel. And we've got the Beach Boys. Fun, fun, fun. I, I can't tell if this is just one song on here. It could just be one song on this entire disc. It does look like there was only a small band record. If you look at the disc, you can see there's quite a difference, but who knows? I could be wrong. I highly doubt they give you a whole um, whole album, but they do give you fun, fun, fun from the Beach Boys. Very cool. So different. There's a nice big truck. What have we got here? It just says Made in China. Can't tell what that is, but quite detailed. And, oh, there's a Matchbox truck with a Yatming trailer on it, so that's not quite right. But uh, that is a Mac, a Mac CH500, 600, Mac CH600 there. Totally out of room here, off to my side. As we can see, the pile is growing to extreme proportions here, just piling up so much stuff. Incredible. Just incredible. Let's keep going in for a further dig into the pile of die casts. So much stuff left. Oh, what have we got there? That looks to be 
a truck that might pull one of those big trailers. Yes, it is. There it is. It's got a big old cab on it. Big old Volvo. Wow. Nac Naco Rail, made in Spain. Check out the details. What? The Never seen anything so much. This thing weighs a lot. All right, well, where are you going to go? Uh, don't roll away or bump my coffee for that matter. Back into the dig. Got more trailers coming out. Very cool trailers. These are both Matchbox trailers. And got like the TV news, satellite television trailer, and the truck, trick trucking. Oh, looks like a car hauler. It's going to be really nice to try and figure out which cabs these go to, as there are a ton of old cabs in here. Let's just see if we can get a big group of them. I mean, I can pick like three old various cabs, matchbox cabs, and we're going to have a lot of fun lining these up next to the trailers and basically doing like a cross connect of what goes where at the Ferry Master Matchbox Volvo. I've had to start a new spot to put everything off to my right on the sofa here. The Allied trailer. That's an old Matchbox. Nope, it's a Road Champs. Looks a lot like a Matchbox trailer that I have. That indeed is a Road Champs. And we're going to go over to a Hot Wheel now. Got a big old Hot Wheel uh, Oshkosh snow plow. There it is. It's missing the plow, but that could still be in here somewhere. Majorette, the Safari trailer. This was towed behind, I believe, a Toyota Land Cruiser. And it does come with the Lion. This thing opens up. And you can take out the Lion. Looks like he's a little bit jammed up in there. Original Lion from the uh, Majorette Safari set. I think I do have the truck, but I definitely don't have the trailer with the Lion. That's the hard one to get. So we're going to keep that together. Now the Lion is standing up as he's supposed to be. Did we focus on that? I don't know. I can't tell. We're into some more packaging here. Let's just get these ripped open. Apologies for the bubbly sounds. That's what happens when you do a live unboxing, guys. This noise does happen. And we've got the Johnny Lightning True Grit Series, a tribute to America's heavy haulers. Very cool. We've got the Dots candy on the front of this. Looks to be like a Freightliner or something like that. Uh, I don't know. GM. GM. It's a GM delivery truck of some kind. Very small scale. Don't really know which scale that's going to be. And what else have we got? Oh my goodness. Another huge Johnny Lightning set. This one is very different looking. Look at that. It's like a Firebird yesterday and today. It's like a then and now from Hot Wheels, but from Johnny Lightning. Definitely have to open up. The packaging has suffered a bit of damage, but here's what's cool about the packaging. Look at that. Oh my goodness, isn't that cool? Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. 67 to 2001. And I've never seen these before, but it looks like you get them in Mustang. A Mustang collection as well. That is super cool. I don't even really want to open it up, but I kind of do. I mean, it's a stand all itself. You don't need the packaging, so it's going to look great. Whoa, there's a minty uh, Hot Wheel Sheriff. I think it's a Sheriff Patrol, 1977, copyright on that one. A little scratch in the windshield, nothing too bad though. Still retrieving trailers here. An old Road Tramp, I said it again, Road Champ, Yatming or something of the sort. And uh, also this one is a Road Champs. A Rip Griffin Truck Travel Center trailer. So many trailers trucks in here. Is that another old matchbox? No. This one is a I don't know, but it's uh probably just like a Yatming or Road Champ type vehicle. It's got rubber tires though, and it's old. There's no doubt about that. Okay, let's keep going with the package stuff, get it out of the way. 
Got a Dragsters USA car, another beautiful example. Terrific artwork on these too. And that pile's getting a little too tall. Yes, another Beastmobile, beautiful. Monte Carlo in red now from the Hot Rods series. And more True Grit. This one is an international, I think, as well. And what have we got on the side of that? JohnnyLightning.com. There you go. That's a Johnny Lightning truck. These ones got special attention for the packing, so maybe they are hard to find. Um, the Pez, the Pez GMC Savannah van, also from the True Grit series. Pretty cool. And there's the packaging. We're gonna look at all that later. More True Grit. Nice, Rice Krispie van this time. Big old Rice Krispie van. Very cool. More trailers. This one's likely to be a part of something like this, or no, that's the wrong chassis, but we've got boxes and we've got chassis everywhere, so that was a play art. Well, that's different. Didn't see too much play art. And what is this? Uh, Majorette. Some sort of uh, layer liquid. You know what that means? Milk? Is that a milk? No. That's lait. L-A-I-T. True Grit. The Hooker Headers Van. That is cool. Another GMC Savannah Van. The Hooker Headers Graphics. Very nice looking vehicle. Oh, and look at this. We've got a circus vehicle. I think it's an off-brand or no it's a matchbox some slight damage but it's intact and that is really neat a little uh, zoo vehicle got a whole bunch of interesting old yapnings in here too just where's the camera there we are it's, uh, what is that a uh, super Celica Toyota Celica Toyota Celica Oh, look, at there's another sheep. The sheep mystery continues. We've got now a standing sheep. Standing sheep. Maybe they go in this uh, matchbox hay wagon or sheep sheep carrier. Where's my other sheep? Ah, uh, it's buried. Can't find it. Well, that's an interesting trailer. I don't have any of those. And then we've got like a little Yatming uh, construction or hay trailer as well. More matchbox flatbed trailer. Matchbox range juice, freshly squeezed range juice. Don't know much about that. Range juice, eh? Got some big stuff hiding down at the bottom here. Looks like a really nice set. Another beautiful Johnny Lightning. We've got uh, 58, is it a 58? Yeah, 58 Chevy Corvette convertible. All metal with rubber tires. That's a beauty. Oh, and we've got another one of these uh, circus circus boxes in the back of the truck. More trailers. It's a matchbox trailer. We're getting to the bottom now. What we got here? Made in England. A 39 Chevrolet car. Yellow cabs in from Days Gone. I actually have quite a large collection of Days Gone. I think if memory serves, someone just commented. I got to respond to my comments. Been... A little preoccupied with some other things, but someone was asking me about my Days Gone collection or models of yesteryear, one or the other. I do have quite a large collection. I do believe I have a video already of that stuff, so if you're watching, look back for that. Um, I did go through all that stuff when I was buying it way back in the day. But pretty cool stuff. I think it's like 143rd scale or maybe 150. So we'll probably open that up too, just for a trip down memory lane. Oh, wow, Road Champs. Mustang GT. These old road champs are interesting. They have the Hot Wheels look wheels. It is indeed a road champs. Custom opening doors. And most of the time, these are missing their windshields and the doors. They're very fragile cars. This one is in really nice shape. It looks like it's missing the convertible roof, but that could be in here. The mystery continues. Another sheep. 
We've got another sleeping sheep. Where are all these sheep coming from? Okay, so we've got a big bag of, Ziploc bag of anonymous trailers. It's just leaving them all out at once. I'm sure there's nothing hiding in there. So we've got some boat trailers by the looks of it. Um, I don't even know what that is actually. A couple old Matchbox Super King boat trailers in various conditions. So these would carry a boat. Another Matchbox Super King um, car hauler. You can see this is like a car hauler trailer. Something like that. Or maybe it's a motorcycle carrier. We've got this old Matchbox. Uh, it says Hong Kong on it. 750 Commando. 750 Commando chopper with some custom made uh, metal wrapping to hold the front fork together somewhat. Definitely an old sandbox find. So many cool cars in here. Where do we begin? Just grab my handful, I guess. Matchbox tow truck rig. Very cool. Matchbox uh, dump truck. Very nice condition as well. The old Yatming Jeep with the... Oh, the motor's missing. A motor is missing out of the Yatming Jeep. It's still got stickers, but somehow the motor's fallen out. And these vehicles often suffer wheel problems up front where they collapse or whatever but they're pretty cool now that is a majorette tractor i have never seen and i have a lot of majorette tractors never ever seen one like this it's got a snow plow attachment on it or a cow catcher almost like you'd see on the front of a train that is so cool also i've never seen one in red and i can tell it's a factory paint job so very interesting tractor right there for me love finding weird stuff like that more tractors, we've got another uh, Majorette tractor in really nice condition, farm tractor. Farm tractor will pull one of those hay wagons we've previously pulled. And then another Matchbox uh, CH600, another Mack truck. That one's in really nice condition, the DHL World Express truck. Just gonna grab a few more trucks all at once. That's a Road Champs, I think, yep. West Caldwell, the Kenworth T600A. So if you like trucks, you're probably going to like this video. It's a real truck filled video. This is a beautiful condition. Matchbox Peterbilt. It's in like perfect condition. I'm kind of hoarding it to myself here off screen. Got to watch what I'm doing here. Then we've got a, like a repaint on this old Yatming or no, Road Champ. Repaint truck. It's going to be painted it lovingly. Oh, a Hot Wheels. It's a Hot Wheels cab here. Um, that could be for a delivery truck or something else entirely. So much stuff. There's this old, really cool Yatming dump truck. Look at this thing. It's actually got like a real flapping dump truck. It just says Yatming with a sticker on it made in China. And then we've got the Matchbox horse carrier. Or is it a sheep carrier? I don't know. Maybe the horse is still in it. Nope. But there's another sheep. Sheep trailer. Is it a sheep trailer? I don't know. But that's four sheep so far. Two standing, two sitting or sleeping. Uh, another Road Champ truck there. Whole bunch of parts. Realistically, I should just grab all these parts and we'll put them together later. We've got some road caps. There's a few broken bits and bobs that we kind of puzzle together later. So many loose boxes boxes from various trailers and trucks so we're just gonna put that all over there to the side uh old matchbox lesney what is that one a dodge this one's gonna be a no name kind of just no made in china toy and what do we got here another no name no name just some no name toys old though and here we have a nice condition Matchbox Combine. It's not the rubber wheel variety, so it's probably from the 70s or 80s, but it's in really good shape. And then Matchbox also made some trains. And so that's 1978, the Shunter. It's a Shunter train. Ah, the old Majorette Elf truck. Now that one does have a matching trailer somewhere. 
similar to this trailer here, which is a majorette as well. Actually, you know, it doesn't even say, but it does have majorette wheels. So it would look like that with an elf trailer. And I still have my original elf truck and trailer. So now I've got two of those. That's awesome. Uh, as for the super cargo trailer, I don't know where that one fits in just yet, but we'll figure it out. Ah, there, there we go. Spoke too soon. Got the super cargo majorette truck and trailer. And these trucks are 1 100 scale. It just simply says Ford, made in France. And there's an old matchbox. That one's the steer carrier, I believe. It would come with like some steer or horses or something. And then we've got another uh, made in Thailand matchbox express parcel truck. Very unique. I actually don't have any of these trucks in my collection, so I'm not sure if that was specific to Australia or what the deal was. Now that's a nice, uh, is this a Yatming? Road Champ again, the Kenworth. Very cool looking truck. It's in nice shape too. I'm find match it up to some trailers somewhere. Tiny little Ford, uh, what are these, L600 or L6000. Doesn't say, but it's a nice representation. Old Ford truck, just a little, little toy. Ooh, a Hot Wheels Miata, Mazda Miata or MX-5. Those are pretty sweet little castings. This is in nice condition. Just got a couple little chips on it. Nothing serious. We've got a change color. Uh, race bait 308. It's a Ferrari 308 from Hot Wheels. How's our focus doing? Very cool. I wonder if it still changes color. It's stuck in the hot color right now. It probably goes something much darker. Auburn. Uh, boat tail speedster. Seen better days. There's a favorite. The Matchbox Ford LTD police car. Can never have too many of those. It's got the suspension. I really like that one. So just a whole smorgasbord of things in here. What is this one? Nicholas James. Who's Nicholas James anyways? Interesting little car. Looks like it could be an Audi or something. Maybe a Volkswagen. Nothing on the base. We've got the old Matchbox Ford pickup truck. F series flare side pickup it says it's an oldie but a goodie got some more parts and pieces here just put those uh, in the parts and pieces mound that I have somewhere over there pick something up with it sooner or later let's get all the vehicles within reach ooh that's a cool one Me uh, matchbox a matchbox road roller in orange very nice condition, actually. Definitely display worthy. And what does it say on the base of that? Nothing. Just matchbox. Some more boxes and pieces. Lots and lots of parts here. Oh, there's a micro machine. I know which trailer that goes to. We we did find a micro machine, strange skinny trailer, not that long ago. So we'll just assume that goes with that. And all this other stuff. Well, I don't know. We've got some tiny stuff here, some little old dump trucks. This is going to be no name, but very good toys. I mean, look at it. They all don't make toys like that in the in this tiny little dollar store variety anymore. This one's a really old, made in England Lesney um, truck. So that's going to be from the 60s, probably. Extremely old. The General Service Lorry, it's called. And uh, made in China, looks like a Mazda RX-7. Kind of cool though. Speedline, then we've got the 80s Corvette. That one is also just made in China. What the heck, we've got this weird looking Mustang. Pretty ugly, but made in China. And this looks like a Tomica. Could be a Tomica John Player Special. Indy car. It is a Tomica Lotus 78, also known as Ford. So it has a Lotus engine in it, 78 Ford. Made in Japan. That is cool. Let's take a closer look at that one. Very nice. John Player Special. Uh, some bits and bobs. Got another old Matchbox truck. Got another old, uh, well, it's a no name crane truck. Road Champ. Kenworth truck again. This one is uh, been. No, that's not a repaint. That's the original. 
This weird looking matchbox fire brigade truck or bucket truck. It still has the bucket on it though, that's pretty rare. The snorkel, it's called. Matchbox snorkel. Hand painted lovingly. Ready for the demolition derby, I guess, or something like that. And that is a matchbox Vauxhall Astra GTE. Got another matchbox combine. We looked at one of those already. It's amazing they still have all their parts on them. Here's a really cool majorette truck. I think I've got one of these in orange. This quad cab um, Mercedes Trax Publix. Publix? 170th scale. Very neat. Hot Wheel. Got a Hot Wheel of this thing. What's it called again? The X. No, not the XT3. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Can't remember. Not the XT3. There's some more hidden cars down here. Oh, we found half the. Uh, no, found both. Found both pieces to the Matchbox Space NASA. Uh, rocket carrier, so that was, I think we looked at that a little while back. Another DHL box. Got a couple Porsches here. Or no, was that Ferrari? I don't even know what kind of car that is. Speedy, this is made in China. This one's a Porsche 928. Police, made in China. Kind of neat, don't have any of those. An old Yatming truck, very small scale, of course, but one of those trailers is going to line up with that. We're down to the final bits, guys. What have we got in the bubble wrap? Oh, yes. Save the best for last on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Yes. This is another James Bond car. The Aston Martin DBS. With a diorama in there. Whoa, that's so cool. We're going to have to open that up. There it is, a 007. Going to at least take it out of this packaging for you guys. Um... That's so tempting to do that immediately, but we're running on here in this video, and I want everybody to see all this cool stuff, so we don't we don't always have time to watch this much stuff come out of a video box, but this is a huge, huge Johnny Lightning package here. I'm just going to take it out of the wrapping off camera, because this is noisy. Johnny Lightning Classic Customs Corvette. Authentic Corvette replicas licensed by Chevrolet. What a nice selection of vehicles. They've got like their own little mirrored plastic display stand with all of the cars listed right here in the center. Collector's edition. Very cool. Never seen one of these before. All this stuff on the back. Um, wow. What is the copyright? And this is playing Mantis and the copyright is 1996. Got the news flash. I guess that was like a publication. Join the club. Get the publication. And uh, enjoy all 10 classic custom Corvettes. So cool. Wow. That's going to stay in the package, I think. That's just such a nostalgic piece. And it's getting old. Let's see if we can take a closer look at some of these Corvettes. Johnny Lightning. Doesn't appear that they have rubber wheels. That They're like the plastic Como wheels. They're all the same. It's kind of like a lower budget selection of Johnny Lightning cars. Even from the Playing Mantis days, it's unusual. But uh, very cool nonetheless. And there's all the cars that are here. Including that, that Corvette Indy is a very interesting, uh, what do you call it, future car? Concept car, that's what the word I was looking for. Well, that's the whole box. That is indeed the whole box. The fun, however, is not over. I've still got the Coke delivery trucks to open up in the shoe box, which we're gonna do now. Gotta make a little bit of room here. As you can see, I am up to my ears in die cast here, and that was just the first box. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. There's lots more to come, stay tuned. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Share it with your friends, it really helps my channel and I greatly appreciate it. But let's get into the Coke delivery trucks now. Time to reveal, lifting the lid to this shoe box, this old Adidas shoe box. Oh, very cool, very, very cool. Johnny Lightning Coke delivery trucks in very nice condition packaging. These are going to stay on the card. Very cool. What have we got here? 33 Ford panel delivery. 
And you've got the guy delivering all the uh, old glass Coke bottles. You can pause on that if you want to read all about that, but collect all 12. You have some very cool, iconic pictures. Playing Mantis Days, and the copyright is 2004. Let's see, it looks like there might be at least 12 in here. So here we have the International Coke Delivery Truck. And the 55 Ford Panel Delivery. Absolutely beautiful. The 1940 Ford Sedan Delivery. Isn't that something? The 1965 Volkswagen Type 2 pickup truck. Super cool. Oh, yes. A, fifth, a 62 Studebaker pickup truck. This is one of my favorite Johnny Lightning castings. Opening hood. There's a detailed engine underneath. Oh, and I just I took it up another notch here. The 77 Chevy van. That is absolutely one of my favorite castings from Johnny Lightning. I only have, I think, one or two of these castings, let alone with the Coke livery. Such a cool collection. The packaging has been so well preserved. Uh, 1959 Chevy El Camino. So, obviously, obviously uh, a complete collection, I think, here. Whoa, we've got alternates to the vans. Okay, so no, this one's a 76 Dodge van. Very cool. Let's take a look at the two vans side by side. Got Ford or Chevy and Dodge here. And 1933 Willys panel van. That is pretty cool. All souped up. Very, very neat. Got a parachute on the back door. And yet another van. This one is the GM 1998 GMC uh, delivery van. I think this is a Savannah van. If I'm not mistaken. Very neat. And the last one. A 1966 Dodge A100 pickup truck. It's got the jump seats in the back. Drop down tailgate. So there you go. That is all of the vehicles Stephen and Peter sent me. In this massive box and indeed the full 12 vehicle collection of coca-cola delivery trucks absolutely wonderful well thank you Stephen and Peter so much two thumbs up to both of you guys man you've made my week with this assortment of vehicles from your collections I'm amazed that you could part with it, it just goes to show how generous both you gentlemen are Thank you so much. It, these videos are amongst the most popular on my YouTube channel, so I really appreciate it. And we've still got more for my viewers coming back. Come back for this stuff. We've got so much more mystery stuff to unbox here. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a part two where I'm going to take all of this stuff and bring it onto the diecast review desk. And we're going to look at everything a little bit more close up once I've paired all the trucks with their appropriate trailers. We're going to open up a whole bunch of cool old Johnny Lightning stuff. Not the delivery vehicle collection. I'm sorry, that one's just too nice altogether and the packaging is mint. But there's going to be lots to look at. And this is also going to stay in the package. I think you're going to find somewhere on the wall to put this very retro classic piece. But thank you guys. And I hope that everyone enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned. Lots more coming.